Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I want to go over things that sold this past weekend which was October 8th through October 10th. Um, items that I've picked up at yard sales and thrift stores and estate sales. Um, I haven't been to the bins in quite a long time. I'm hoping to start going again here real soon because I love going there and spending the day. Um, but it is an hour and a half drive one way for us. So when I decided I was going to build my store big time, um, that's what I did. I drove that drive two and three times a week for months. And I went there and I would fill my car up with stuffed animals and I would come home and I would get that stuff listed as quickly as I could. And unfortunately, a lot of, some of it still not listed. It ends up in my um, profit piles. I almost said the, the D word, but we're going to say profit piles, right? Let's keep this positive. But um, I'm hoping to start doing that again. Plus, we like to do sourcing trips. But let me tell you, this week I thought I'm going to do something different with my Watts Olds. You know, I watch a lot of other YouTubers and there's some that go and their Watts Solds are they actually going and picking and, and the items and showing you and telling you, you know, what it's sold for. And I tried it for two days and obviously it, it didn't work for me. I just didn't feel like I talked enough about the items. And like I've said before, all of my items are stored in clear bags. So you couldn't get a good view of it, which meant I still was going to need to pull up each of the solds so that it could be flashed on the screen. And so I just decided, no, I'm going to go back to doing this way. This way works for me. And, you know, if you'd like to see something like that, it, but it's just a lot of me walking up and down a ladder, digging through bins, and then, you know, walking back, putting it down, and then doing it again. I think sometimes I talk more about the items I buy if I do it this way. So, I need to make sure I started the screen capture. Yes. All right, because I'd hate to do this. Believe me, I've done that. I did that last week. Did the whole thing twice. And both times there were problems. The second time was I forgot to turn the screen capture on. Technologically inept. All right. So this was Friday through Sunday. Not a lot of sales and no big sales, unfortunately. But, you know, it is what it is. We keep plodding along, right? This first item is from the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Island of Misfit Toys series. They were by Stuffins. I'm pretty sure they all came from CVS. They were a series that was put out and sold through CVS. Now there's Build-A-Bear ones out that sell for quite a lot. Um, but this is just a small little eight inch from the 1990s. I made a mistake in this title. For some reason, I thought her name was Dolly, but her name is Sue, but she still sold. And I did end up selling her for best offer of $17.20. This is from my online estate sale. Like I said, I've mentioned before, a lot of this is advertising or promotional type stuffed animals. So this was Tyson chicken. It was a, a chicken with a graduation cap and gown on. And I ended up selling him for best offer of $12. This is just one of those General Electric electric slicing knives. Um, I've had it a while. I don't think I would buy them again. Um, I probably paid it a couple of dollars at an estate sale. It was in its box, but the box had issues. But I ended up selling it for the $13.90. Not something I'm going to buy again, though. These were some Oneida silverware flatware that I picked up in an estate sale. I paid $20 for a whole wooden box. And most of them were this series, but there were a couple of other brands in there. It was kind of a hodgepodge. But I have already sold all of the dinner forks. I did sell the first four. I divided everything into sets of four. That just seems to work really well for me um, when I buy stuff. Just 
sets of four. This is the dinner forks, and I sold them for $19. This was a little Carter's Rattle Plush. Um, I did end up selling it for the $11.11. .11. I love Carter's. I just I will always pick them up. I'm a dollar or less more than likely for this. This I was digging through my profit boxes looking for stuff to take to the booth. I've got a bunch of toys over there that just weren't eBay worthy. So that's what I'm doing. I'm taking them over there, putting a dollar or two dollars on them, and let's just get them gone. But these were in there, and I'm not even quite sure why they were in there and why I hadn't listed them. But it was these four Angry Birds Star Wars characters, and I ended up selling them for $23. Angry Birds are popular. If you see them, pick them up and then just set them aside and do lots. That's what I do, and they tend to do really well for me. Again, this thing, another sloth. I sell sloths all the time. This is a Christmas one. It did play um, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, and I sold it for the $13.90. This was a Ben 10 figure. Again, it's not even two inches tall, itty bitty, and I sold it for the $9.25. This was an Eden Bear. It had a little bib on it that said My First Christmas. Um, and I ended up selling it for the $27.85. It was supposed to be one of those, I think, that you shook and it made the whooping sound, but it didn't anymore. These were in a bag of Christmas ornaments that I picked up. You know, I pick them up all the time, and then I try to group them by similar stuff. Some of it's I take to my booth. And then some of it I list on here. But these were just little four-inch plush. One was a rabbit, one was a dog. And I ended up selling them for the $12.04. These are jeans that we've sold recently. These are from Talbot's. We've pretty much been focusing on just regular, not high-end um, jeans. Things that you buy when you go to the mall. Um, these were Talbots, and I ended up selling them for best offer of $11. And for most of these, I have been doing flat rate shipping. With this new postal change, I'm probably 50-50 on whether it's cheaper to ship it in a small priority box or put it in a padded flat rate envelope. It's just, I think the closer it is to me, the flat rate is um, more expensive. These were Rescue Rangers. Um, I think I bought this. I bought a huge lot of little toys, and I have not hardly gone through them. But these were sealed, and they're from the Chippendale Rescue Rangers. And I think you got these out of cereal packets, cereal boxes. And I these were the only two that were sealed. So I went ahead and listed them together and sold them for the $12.04. These we picked up on one of our sourcing trips at a Goodwill bin, um, and I bought a bunch. We bought every one of them that we could find. Some of them were larger tins. They're all empty, and but this one is like 7 8 ounce, so the tin was very small, and I ended up selling it for $7.25. I've almost sold all of them, and we probably picked up 20 or more of them. This is Tom's Toys, just a little rabbit. Very cute. It kind of, to me, looked like Manhattan Toys, but it wasn't. I think when I picked it up, that's what I originally thought it was. But it's just Tom's Toys, and I ended up selling it for the $12.04. Another pair of denim jeans that we picked up, Levi's $5.50. Again, we pay $2 or less for most of the denim that we're picking up these days. And I ended up selling these for the $20.98. These are called Twisted Whiskers. I've purchased, this is probably the third or fourth one I've ever found. They just have this wiry fur. It's, it's just like strings. And these big bulging eyes. 
and I sold this one for eleven dollars and one cent. I think people there's collectors for everything, but I think some people collect these. This was a Presto pressure canner that I picked up. Um, if it's cheap enough, I pick up a lot of this kind of stuff. These just happened to be $5. It was the big 16 quart. If it had been the double canner, I'd have kept it for myself. But this is just a single canner. Um, and I ended up selling it for best offer of $32. It was a big box. I mean, I'm, it was like this big around. It was huge. This is Inter-American uh, Inter Products. Again, I love this brand. Um, just nice quality. This was a Flamingo, and I say this about a lot of brands. If it's unique, if it's colorful, pretty much it's gonna sell better than some of this, the plain plush. But I ended up selling this Flamingo for the $21.21. And this is, oops. This is Peanuts Snoopy Puzzle. Again, we bought this at Finders Keepers that first weekend, paid a dollar for it, um, and I did sell this for $16.96, and I still have two more of them. These next five are my Facebook orders. Um, Facebook's hot right now. I think they're offering lots of free shipping on things, and... I've, I've sold, at one point, I had as many Facebook orders as I had eBay orders. So it's it's been a really good week for Facebook. These are Lady in the Tramp plush. I went to a yard sale earlier in the year. I think she charged me $2 each. Um, these two I did end up selling for $13 on Facebook. This was not even the same person. This was a larger Lady in the Tramp plush. Sold it for $8. It was from the Disney store. This was a 101 Dalmatian dog plush. Sold it for $5. There was a whole series of these. Um, a Pinocchio, um, Kermit, Miss Piggy, some of them. I can't remember all of them, but there's a whole series of them based on classic movies. This was Spark Create Imagine. Love that brand. This one was the dog that looks like a St. Bernard, um, and I did end up selling it for $22. There is one that looks like a Rottweiler, and it does even better than this, so keep your eyes out for these dogs. I so also sold a gray one that kind of looks like a schnauzer and it didn't do very well. It's only like seven or eight dollars. So it just really depends on what breed that dog looks like. Then the last thing I sold was another Fisher Price Little People. I sold the reindeer for seven dollars. All right, so that was my weekend sales. I sold nothing on Bonanza. It's like feast or famine with that. You know, I sold, I want to say five, six things last month and then I don't think I've sold a, a thing yet this month on there. I have been cross-listing to Mercari. I've got probably 120 items or so listed right now, but I have not sold a single thing on there yet. So, you know, my first priority will always be eBay. That's where I start and then I cross-list from there using cross, you know, list perfectly. All right, so Again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed these types of videos. You know, this is how I show that, you know, the things that I pick up do sell. So I, I think it's important that people see even the, the lower dollar things, you know, they all add up and I am fine with that. All right, if you can see, I've got lots of work I'm still doing from the the online auction, the latest haul that we did. I don't even know if you, I don't think we've got it out yet. All right.